Super Bowl 56 is right around the corner with the Cincinnati Bengals battling the Los Angeles Rams for the biggest prize in professional football. For those in Cincinnati, this is the moment you've been waiting for, praying for, patiently for decades. For those in Los Angeles, hey, you might not have heard, but you have a football team now and they're going to the Super Bowl, so uh, congrats. We here at Corona24 are sports fans in addition to watch fans, so we thought it'd be fun to find common ground between the two passions. Just as professional sports teams are forever locked into an arms race for key players and championships, so too do watch brands battle it out for press coverage, popular releases, and market share. With that in mind, let's take a look at how NFL teams compare to watch brands we know and love or hate. When I think of the Buffalo Bills, I think of Breitling, and I'll tell you why. The Bills have been on the up and up for the past few years thanks in large part to young talent like their star quarterback, Josh Allen. Likewise, Breitling has seen their own resurgence under the leadership of George Kern, who has a reputation for reviving downward watch brands. The Bills are known as one of the unluckiest teams in the NFL, losing four Super Bowls in the 1980s. Breitling has had similar close calls with bankruptcy during the quartz crisis in the late 1970s, and the brand image has struggled a bit in the last decade as consumer preferences swing away from the large case sizes that make up much of Breitling's lineup. Breitling is also known for making straightforward tool watches, particularly for pilots. This pairs well with the historically blue collar crowd from Buffalo. The Bills Mafia, as we know them now, has become internet famous for their high flying antics at pregame cookouts, slamming their bodies through cheap plastic tables like they're in a professional wrestling battle royale. It's worth a search on YouTube if you'd like to see it for yourself. So while this ravenous crowd may not be pilots, they sure do reach high altitudes on their own. The Green Bay Packers are one of the most storied franchises in professional football with many Hall of Fame players, historic coaches, and championships to their name. The Packers are also unique in that fans can own stock in the team, becoming even more invested than the average football fan. You can draw a comparison here to the legendary Audemars Piguet, which remains independent and family owned and which has been in the top tier of horological brands since their inception. When we look at the factors driving the success of these two organizations, we see further similarities. The Packers are largely reliant on their team leader and star quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. This uneven dependence on one player has led to friction between Rodgers and the Packers administration as he practically begs the front office to hire more offensive talent for him to throw to. But what do the Packers do? Instead of recruiting more receivers, the team hires a backup quarterback, essentially the replacement for the aging Aaron Rodgers. With Audemars Piguet, it's been a long running joke among watch fans that the only model worth paying attention to at AP is the Royal Oak. This now famous watch has helped solidify AP's status as a horological powerhouse, but the brand has struggled to build excitement around any other watch in their lineup. The Code 1159 was supposed to be the next big thing from the brand, but it has largely been ignored, if not ridiculed, since its release. The Dallas Cowboys are known as America's team. The organization has a fancy new stadium, a huge and dedicated fan base, and enough spending power to attract high caliber players like Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. That said, Cowboys fans seem to be caught in an annual cycle of optimism and disappointment. The team has not had a Super Bowl win since the 1990s, despite having all the necessary tools at their disposal. Doesn't this sound a bit like Vacheron Constantin? The brand has long been in the trilogy of top manufacturers alongside Patek Philippe and Audemars Piguet, but despite their rich history of watchmaking, the brand has not had anywhere near the traction and enthusiasm that its competitors have. Vacheron does have hype-worthy watches like their underpriced overseas and their perpetual calendar models, but for whatever reason, they lack the sets appeal of a Patek or an AP or certainly a Rolex. Perhaps the hottest team in the league for the past few years is the Kansas City Chiefs. They had a phenomenal run this past year and just barely missed the Super Bowl, but they did win the Super Bowl in 2020 thanks to the leadership of their Wonder King quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, who can seemingly complete any pass in any circumstance. We can compare this to the meteoric rise of the Malaysian watch brand Ming. 
who has gone from prototypes to sold out releases in only a few years. The brand has made a name for itself through a razor sharp design language that's recognizable from across the room. Whether you're Ming or Mahomes, it is rare to see so much success so quickly. Unlike some other teams on this list, Patrick Holmes is not the only reason for his team's success, as he does have a talented offensive lineup to work with. Likewise, Ming has bolstered their surge in popularity by collaborating with other upstart brands like Macinilab for even hotter releases and secondary market prices. We go into Hollywood, baby. With their recent move to Los Angeles, the Rams have become the favorite team of many celebs, much like their NBA equivalent, the Los Angeles Lakers. The high-powered offense is led by quarterback Matthew Stafford and wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. Matthew Stafford is cool and unshakable in the pocket. You could say he is the paracrom hairspray of quarterbacks, which is a sentence I never thought I would say. This is similar to RM watches, which have to withstand a tremendous amount of impact. Rafael Nadal's serve has got to exert a lot of force on those watches, for example. And let's talk about Odell Beckham Jr. as well. Thanks to his natural athleticism and flashy style, OBJ has become a celebrity in his own right, attending fancy parties, starring in commercials, and wearing high-priced watches, of course. OBJ made headlines a few years ago for rocking one watch in particular during a game, a Richard Mille 1103 McLaren flyback. I'm guessing that's not part of the standard uniform. He is, of course, not the only celebrity to don the brand as seemingly anyone with a blue check mark on social media must have an RM. The Rams are also led by their talented coach with a photographic memory, Sean McVay, who is one of the youngest coaches in the league at only 36 years old. In a short amount of time, the young players and coaches on the Ram have created a championship level team, much like a young Richard Mill quickly built his eponymous brand into an object of desire around the world. The Rams and Richard Mille thrive at the nexus of star power and technicality, and love them or hate them, they are not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, of course, we couldn't touch on all the watch brands and all the NFL teams. I mean, there's got to be a Hublot joke here somewhere, or a Cleveland Brown joke, for God's sake. Let us know in the comments below if there's a matchup that we missed. I would love to see them. I'm Thomas of Corona 24 in New York, but the teams are terrible. We'll have more videos coming to this channel all the time, so stay tuned for those. And in the meantime, enjoy your watches.